Uh, welcome to Quebec Technical Support. Today we have here Auto 950 customer sent this one testing this written that the anti drop sensor issue. So in this video I will show you that how to open the demo also because there are so many customers they are asking online. Uh, they are texting me that uh, please how, let us know how you remove the top cover so we can see inside what is faulty. Because normally I just go direct and show that part that uh, what is the faulty issue, how we can settle that one. So I will show you very fast video. I cannot, I mean, make it slower because I don't have enough time to make it slower. So first of all, we will remove these two caps. And I remove already and then we remove these two. Okay. Just after that, just and then put your fingers here. Pick up, remove this uh, bottom body cover screw. I think my magnet is not working properly, the screw won't attach properly. Okay. Once I remove all this screw, just pull up this cap. And one screw still slightly tightened. Yeah. So once we remove this one, so now we will open the bigger screw, the battery two screw, so the side one. Make sure remember that which screw you take from where. There are different sizes of the screw. Now you remove the bumper panel. This is called bumper panel. The bottom part of the bumper where we put the screw that is a bumper panel actually remove all these screws and then you just remove this bumper panel and uh, you can put the machine upside down and the battery and this lock will come out automatically yes, like that. so no battery in my hand just take out inside the battery there are two more screw here Now it's ready to take out. Just put here, take out, and remove these wires from the bumper. Now the bumper removed already. Just pull up the cover. Make sure there are two wires always the detoff wire and the sensor wire attached here. Remove this one. Now pull up. Take out that off. So, okay. Okay, so once we remove uh, this uh, top cover. So now you can see this is uh, how it looks like. All D boards from inside the new models also look like same actually. So this is, uh, I mean, the function wise, uh, how we remove the bumper. You can see the camera in front, the laser distance, uh, some other new sensors in the new models. Uh, maybe one or two wires are different from the front, from the bumper. The rest, the top is all same. So you can remove like this and whatever you can test at home. See, but this one, the D board, I let you know. I can see here very clear watermarks here. And everybody can see here there's a watermark here it means that the water drop on this d-board that is why and uh, all inside also is uh, rusty you can see here very clearly and everything here I can see the watermarks there it means that the, this one is a water damage unit I don't recommend customer to repair this one it will be very costly if it's a motherboard damage if it's a motherboard damage it will be very costly so if it's a motherboard issue and some other sensors also need to replace, I won't recommend you to replace this one. It will be very costly. But if it's just only the sensor, I will check first. If it's just only the sensor issue, I will fix no problem. Okay, so as I show you that uh, there are some parts uh, I can see the rusty. So I'll try to remove the anterior sensors first. What's the issue now? So if you want to remove the anterior sensor, there's a lock here actually. You just press this lock you can see here this side is lock actually so just press this one and use your finger from here to push it up this one you push from here up press and then this lock you just press from this side yes no it's open already now you can take out And this one I show you here, this one from here easily you can clearly can see this lock. This is a lock actually. I press this with finger from bottom to up and like this. Okay. 
so from here we will open this screw and then we take out this wire and fix the new one and then we will test so like this we remove and test because this one i show you here the physically what i can see here is uh, because i show you that some parts already rusty it means that the pick up the they would pick up the water and some water drop on the top cover also as i show you earlier and now here you can see very clearly the rust is outside the cover also i can see very clearly this part as you can see here is also the water sign here clearly can see there so this one we will replace first and then uh, better i replace left and right both and then i will test instead of because i i don't have enough time so i can replace first and then fix it back everything and then test again got problem then i open again so i replace left and right both and then i will try because i think that the left and right both need to replace because there's enough water inside on the sensor i can see maybe some other parts also need to replace the damage so i won't i'm not going to replace the vacuum fan so far looks okay not very rusty just only the screw became rusty so screw we can replace no issue so we will replace left and right anterior sensor after that we will test again so thanks for watching this video thank you very much ha, um, okay thank you very much <laughs>